Get ready to read a story from the PRC Saltillo AAC Literacy Planner, Let's Play. This month's story is called Let's Play, a book about making friends. In this literacy planner, there are numerous resources to support literacy instruction with your AAC learners. You'll find resources to support literacy and learning with 12 different books. Review the monthly lesson plans that list target words, sample objectives, and ways for using these words when you engage in shared reading, play games, create sensory, writing, and craft projects. You'll love learning how our ambassadors who use our speech generating devices or apps spend their leisure time. So let's get ready to read. Download a smart chart that supports your vocabulary. A smart chart shows the symbol sequence for the target words in the vocabularies. Use it as a tool to help communication partners know where to find words in the vocabulary. You can download a pre-made smart chart for Unity, Lamp Words for Life, and Word Power for each monthly set of target words. These smart charts were made using the smart chart generator on the AAC Language Lab. You'll find the monthly downloads by going to printrom.com, caregiver resources, and activities. Once you select activities, look for the tab labeled 2024 Planner Supports. From this screen, you'll be able to download the smart charts, the monthly activities, and the social skills support set. Once you have your smart chart, you're ready for a picture walk. Help your AAC reader use the images in the story and any bold or large text on the pages to predict what the story will be about and set a reason for reading the story. Flip through the pages and point out any new or unusual words that your learner may not know. Feel free to stop the video anytime to teach and model target words as well as make comments and connections between what your AAC reader says and the story. The title of this story is Let's Play, a book about making friends, written by Amanda McCarty and illustrated by Colleen Larmore. I see two kids on the cover. It looks like they're sitting on a bench. Where do you think they are? Inside the book, we see a lot more faces. I'm beginning to think this book is going to be about a lot of children. Lots of boys and girls are playing outside in the snow. It must be cold. They're wearing hats and coats and mittens. Some of them have backpacks. Hmm, where do you think they are? This building looks like it might be a school. I think this story is going to be about kids in school. What do you think? I'm ready to read it and find out. Let's play. This is the story of Suki and how she made friends. It started when her family moved and she had to go to a new school. At first, she felt lonely, sad, and small. There are lots of other kids playing in the yard at school. But Suki feels small. I think that means she's worried about her first day at a new school. Then some of her new classmates started being friendly. One said hi to her during P.E. One passed her a hoop before they all got taken. One helped her find her way when she was lost. Each time, Suki felt warm inside and wanted to be friendly back. Each time Suki talked to a new person, she got to make a new friend. What could you do to help a new friend at school?
Now Suki knew that friendliness was catching, so she smiled when she met a shy classmate by the coat pegs one morning. The next time they met, it was easier. I'm Suki. Um, I'm Joe. And the next time, it was easier still. Do you want to play? Suki and Joe were becoming friends. Suki was able to make a new friend. I wonder how she feels now. When Suki saw Poppy playing ball, she plucked up her courage and asked to join in. Soon Poppy's friend Stan joined in as well, and friendship grew out of a game. Suki hoped all her friends would like one another. She brought them together many times, and soon she could see they did. They were friends making friends with the friends of their friends. Suki was able to make a lot of friends when she had them play together. How do you think she feels now? She doesn't look sad anymore, does she? What do you like to play with your friends? But things weren't always easy for Suki. One day, she asked a boy named Michael if she could help him with his puzzle. But Michael said no, he wanted to do it by himself. Suki's skin felt crinkly with embarrassment. She hurried away to find Poppy. For a while, they played quietly, and then Suki told Poppy what had happened. This kind of telling is called confiding, which means that Suki trusted Poppy to be kind, to care how Suki felt, and to not tell other people about it. Sometimes I want to play on my own too, said Poppy. They laughed and the crinkly feeling faded away. Suki was sad when her friend Michael did not want her to help put his puzzle together. She feels better when she confides or tells a trusted friend. What happened? A few weeks later, Suki's classmate Alex made fun of her red hair. Joe was ready to stand up for her right away. He said calmly to Alex, Stop being mean to Suki. Thanks, Joe. Everyone stopped laughing, even Alex. Her joke didn't seem very funny after Joe called it mean. Joe was a brave, loyal friend that day. It feels so sad when someone says something mean about you, but it makes you feel so happy when a friend is loyal and stands up for you. One day, Suki's class put on a special show for their parents in the gym, but Joe rushed off before the show was over. Hey, Joe, come back. He felt silly, but his friends were there to support him. Joe ran away. How do you think he feels? When a friend feels upset, we can say nice things to help them feel better. What kinds of things could they say to Joe? Suki found that she and her friends were alike in lots of ways. They all enjoyed getting together, playing and laughing, chatting, being goofy, and sharing lunch. Suki was worried she would not be able to make a new friend at her school. But look at all of the fun things she can do with her new friends.
In other ways, they were different. For instance, Stan didn't worry the way Suki did. Suki was late sometimes, but Joe was almost always on time. When Poppy was happy, she stood on her hands. When Suki was happy, she made people laugh. So Suki learned it's okay to have a friend who doesn't always play or think the same way that you do. And Suki was happy, not every minute, all the time, but warm and safely happy deep inside. Suki feels happy. She was able to make more than just one friend. She isn't sad anymore. And now she likes her new school. Knowing they had one another for support, Suki and her friends felt free to be open, to be themselves. They grew closer every day. How do you think Suki feels now? She was able to make a lot of friends at her new school. They like to play and hang out. What kinds of things do you play with your friends? The end.